Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Automotive, here today with a video on fault code P2181, symptoms, causes, and diagnostics. <laughs> fault code P2181 indicates cooling system performance. This is a very generic diagnostic trouble code and really doesn't give much guidance as to what the actual cooling system performance issue is. So the engine could either be overheating or the cooling system could potentially be overcooling. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump straight into some symptoms of fault code P2181. With this being a generic code, symptoms can vary widely depending on the extent of the issue, but generally some of the most common symptoms associated with this fault code include the check engine light, which should be illuminated just about any time a diagnostic trouble code is stored in the vehicle. You may also notice abnormal engine temperature. So if your engine is running hotter than usual or potentially colder than usual, or is taking longer to get up to operating temperatures. Another potential symptom is overheating. The one important thing to mention with overheating is this can cause very serious engine damage. So if you are running into this fault code and experiencing overheating issues, it's very important to pull over in a safe location as soon as possible and do not continue driving the vehicle. Outside of that, another potential symptom is your cabin heater taking too long to warm up or potentially not working at all. This would be the case if the engine is overcooling, since it does use the heat from the coolant to actually generate the heat inside your vehicle. Moving on to the most common causes of fault code P2181. This is a somewhat lengthy list as again, it's a generic fault code. So really any potential issues with the cooling system that would cause performance issues could be the cause of this fault code. So number one, low engine coolant is a common cause of this fault code. You may also have a faulty engine thermostat, issues with your cooling fan, potentially issues with the water pump, as well as the engine coolant temperature sensor. And then lastly, any kind of wiring or electrical issues. So again, a relatively lengthy list, which can make it a little more challenging to diagnose without having other information to go off of. So moving on to the next section and talking about diagnostics and how to properly repair fault code P2181. The best first step is to use an OBD2 scanner, plug it into your OBD2 port and verify and confirm what fault codes are present. A lot of the times with this fault code, you will likely notice another fault code also associated with some sort of cooling system issue. For example, if you have a problem with the engine coolant temperature sensor, then you might see fault codes along the lines of P0 P0115, P0116. So using the OBD2 scanner and just confirming what fault codes are present can be a helpful first step just to point you in the right direction. The next best step, as with any other diagnostics, always start with the basics. So check your engine coolant level, make sure that it is properly filled up and that it's not potentially overfilled or underfilled. Otherwise, look for any visible issues potentially a coolant leak or any visible damage to maybe a cooling fan, radiator, etc. If you notice visible damage, of course, anything like that can help point you in the right direction. From there for step number three, verify the actual issue that you're having with fault code P2181. Is your engine overheating or is it overcooling? Knowing the specific issue can really help narrow things down. For example, if the engine is overheating, a lot of the times this points to an issue more along the lines of a faulty cooling fan, water pump issues. And then on the other hand, any overcooling issues a lot of the times indicate an issue with either the engine coolant temperature sensor or the thermostat, since typically thermostats are designed to fail in the open position to prevent the engine from overheating. This would allow maximum coolant flow through the radiator and essentially overcool the engine. From there, once you have some information to go off of, it's time to dive into slightly more advanced diagnostics. And of course, depending on what information you found and what you have to go off of, this could vary, but this would be a good time to start testing things like the voltage to various sensors, like the engine coolant temperature sensor, potentially pressure testing the cooling system, looking for any potential leaks or blockages or issues there. So again, hard to give any specific guidance since it really depends on the specific issue at hand and what information you have available to help guide you in a certain direction. Anyway, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more in the future. Thanks, everyone.